Hello everybody, today I'm at the North American International Auto Show taking a look at this new 2023 Grand Wagoneer Series 3L. Um, I don't know how much interior shots I'll be able to get because this is a pretty popular vehicle today at the show. Starting off up front, we are going to have your Grand Wagoneer exclusive LED headlights and fog lights. Beautiful brushed aluminum and chrome Wagoneer grille with your front facing camera. Parking sensors are going to be integrated into the upper portion of the bumper. You also have a bunch of safety features with lane keep assist and adaptive cruise control. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I believe it also has the twin turbo uh, Hurricane engine, which I think has over 500 horsepower. Coming around to the side, we have cross path detection. Really nice white and gloss black accent colors. Color matched fender flares. 22 inch brushed aluminum and black Wagoneer wheels on some Goodyear Eagle Touring tires. It's a 285-45 R22. Beautiful gloss black mirror caps with your 360 degree camera system right here on the mirror. Your Grand Wagoneer badging is silver and bronze with the American flag, looks absolutely beautiful. This guy has the drop down running boards that are absolutely massive as well. Passive entry, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from any of the four doors. Not only does it have the blind spot monitoring, but it also has the blind spot mirror on both driver and passenger side. Gloss black uh, roof rack up top that is the entire cab length for maximum storage capabilities. Right here we have your capless fuel fill port with 91 octane, so yes, it does have the Hurricane engine. Coming around to the back, absolutely beautiful Grand Wagoneer uh, tail end, LED headlights. Again, you have your Quadra Drive over there, and then your Series 3L right here. Backup camera is gonna be right there, and then your rear view mirror camera is right up top. Again, I love that silver and brushed bronze look. It's absolutely gorgeous. Parking sensors integrated into the upper portion of the bumper, and I believe you have dual exhaust with this, so very, very cool. Absolutely massive back window here. We got Detroit's Finest looking at the, at the car. Pretty sweet. We'll go over the window sticker at the end of the video. Here's our quick little sneak peek. Absolutely beautiful interior. Oh my god, this thing is just absolutely gorgeous, everybody. Let's take a look at the interior as quick as we possibly can. Starting off over here on the driver's side, we have your lock and unlock buttons with all your automatic windows up and down, power folding mirrors, as well as your power mirror options. All these buttons right here actually control the seat with all sorts of different lumbar and neck support and back support. Very, very cool. Beautiful, beautiful blue leather with this beige, almost caramel stitching on it and this real metal trim. Feels absolutely amazing. Right over here we have the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as the dimmer switch for the ambient lighting, and then the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Right here we have your power adjustable foot pedals, and then under that we have your electronic trailer brake, or electronic parking brake, I'm sorry. I've done too many videos today. Up top on the dash, we have an 85 to 90 percent soft leather dash, Macintosh Premium Audio Group. We do have a heads-up display if it's coming through right there. Really nice leather-wrapped grab handles with suede headliner. Coming down to the instrument cluster, uh, we have a really nice uh, fire going on a cold fall day here in Michigan. 100% um, digital. Obviously, there's not a real fire in there. Um, I love that. I love that the automotive industry is going towards completely digital instrument clusters. Working our way back to the steering wheel, very beautiful steering wheel. This is probably my favorite steering wheel on the market right now. Very mild bolsters at 10 and 2, but it has a real nice flat bottom to it, which you can overhand or underhand for comfortability. This control pad right here actually controls the information on the center uh, instrument cluster if it wasn't in demo mode right now and then right here you have all of your steering wheel mounted call buttons over on this side we have the uh, adaptive cruise control buttons as well as your regular cruise control and your lane keep assist buttons push button starts going to be right here right here we have the heated and ventilated capacitive buttons with your heated steering wheel button as well as your zone massaging 
It is similar on the passenger side with the exception of the screen off button because they do not have a steering wheel, obviously. Physical buttons for the volume and the tune scroll wheel. Rams Uconnect 5, turned it off, thankfully. No more fire, getting too hot in here. Uh, uh, wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You can control the heated seats, ventilated seats, everything through here. Navigation's absolutely beautiful. You have all your vehicle settings. It has a 4G LTE connection, and I believe it's also hooked up to Amazon Alexa. Uh, I may have already gone over this, but the push button start has leather around it, which is really nice. Beautiful gloss black uh, physical buttons for the heating and cooling. Down here we have the massage settings for the vehicle. You also have the um, front air conditioning, the front seat massage settings and what kind of intensity you want and what kind of massage you want. Then we have the rear uh, air conditioning and then the screen off. Under here we have all capacitive buttons. Push this, this screen will go away, giving us access to a 12 volt outlet, two USB-C's, two USB's, an auxiliary jack, one USB and one USB-C for the rear, and then an HDMI for the passenger screen, which is right here. Wireless charging mat is gonna be right there. Push that back, we will get the screen back. And something to note, if I didn't already say it, is when you push these, they're capacitive, so they give a little vibration on your finger. Mute button for the radio, automatic start stop off, it is on by default. Auto hold, so what this does is it keeps you um, from moving while the vehicle is in gear at a stoplight. So let's say you're at stop and go traffic, you don't want to keep your foot on the brake. While you are in drive and your foot is on the brake, you can push the auto hold button. It will keep you steady. You can take your foot off the brake and you won't go anywhere until you actually push the gas, which is pretty sweet. Lane keep assist off. The only physical button is the hazard light button. You actually have to push that. That is not capacitive. Traction control off. Parallel park button. Parking sensors off. Tow haul mode. And then this actually sends the turns the screen over here on and off. All the different drive modes for the vehicle is controlled with this little lever right here. Rotary dial selector for the um, drive gear. Air suspension controller. Four wheel low is a capacitive button. So is the trail control, which is essentially um, it's uh, cruise control for off road at off road speeds. Right here we have two nice cup holders with a cutout for the key fob and some chain storage. Coming back to the center armrest, pull back on this, giving us access to a felt line storage compartment with USB and USB Type-C. Open this up, giving us access to an actual cooler. And there is a gasket on here, so it will keep the cool in. And I don't know if it's going to pick it up on camera, but there actually is steam coming out of here because of how cold it is mixing with the air here. Um, you can see there's condensation and moisture on the sides. It's actually like a refrigerator. So that's probably the coolest thing I think I've seen in this car. Absolutely beautiful leather wrapped series three seats. Glove box is gonna be right here. Grand Wagoneer badging as well as the uh, touch screen for the passenger. You can plug in a Xbox or a PlayStation or a computer or whatever if you want. Jam out, do whatever you want. A lot of controls as well. Up top on the suede headliner, the vanity for the passenger is LED lit. Same with the driver. You got three door universal garage remote. You got your speaker system right here so you can yell at the kids all the way in the back without having to turn your head. Trunk release button, all the master controls for the LED dome map lights, and then all the controls for the twin pane sunroof. Even the third row has their own little sunroof, which is pretty sweet. We got glasses storage right here, and then the uh, kid yelling at mirror so you don't have to turn your head again pretty sweet and that brings us to the video rear view mirror which you can obviously see right now you can control how bright or how dim the mirror is as well as how high or how low the camera is actually showing so very very cool um, I'm sorry if I sound a little hyper I just absolutely love this vehicle and this is probably like my 50th car of the day uh, I absolutely love this Grand Wagoneer. This is, I mean, I would even consider this over a truck and I absolutely love trucks, so. Let's take a quick look at the back seats and see how much room we have. So we have a bunch of legroom in here, easily eight inches of legroom. You have storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. You have two USBs, two USB-Cs, 
as well as a 115 volt, 150 watt power outlet in a 12 volt outlet right here. Minimalist style air conditioning vents for the rear passengers with real metal accent trim. You also have another air conditioning vent over here in the B pillar, which is much appreciated. Macintosh premium audio, privacy slash sun shade as well. Touchscreen TV with Amazon uh, preloaded on it. HDMI plug, plug USB-C I believe to charge your phone and then you have an auxiliary jack for some headphones. All of your air conditioning controls is gonna be on this touch screen right here. Two cup holders right there. Again, same style armrest. Another USB and USB type C. Storage compartment right here that does not have a refrigerator in it unfortunately, but this thing is absolutely massive and LED lit. The seats in here are just absolutely gorgeous. Suede headliner again. Speakers right here, speakers pretty much everywhere. LED dome map lights, integrated hanger hook and grab handle up top because of the twin pane sunroof. This thing is sweet. This seat also reclines too. I mean, so as you can see, I, this is the rear, the seat next to me. And then this is my seat, pretty much reclined all the way back. So I would never have any issue with um, headroom. Also the headrest is, it feels like it's spring loaded to keep my head up, which is nice. I could definitely be comfortable going in a long car ride in this vehicle. Let's get out real quick so I can show you how to get into the back. So we're going to put the seat back up, it's going to fold down and then I believe there's a strap right over here where you can pull it and I think this actually comes up. Let me double check. I, don't, I may not be correct on this one, I'll just get in this way without breaking anything hopefully. Getting in is still very easy. And because this is the L, you have even more uh, legroom than you would originally. I should probably sit over here to demonstrate that for you guys. Five, six inches of legroom. Tons of headroom, even though I have this sun sunroof right here. Each side gets their own air conditioning vent, as well as their reclining seats, power reclining seats. Cup holder surrounded by leather. USB-C and USB on both sides, which is awesome. I absolutely love, love, love this car. You have storage right here and right there as well. LED dome map lights and hanger hooks again on the outermost side of the headliner. And then if you do want to get out, you can actually push these buttons too and get out. I don't think the, the vehicle is actually, there's someone in the car right now, but uh, those will actually fold. And then you can push this button and it will fold all the way forward. So getting out is very easy. I'm a 210 pound 5'11 on my best day guy and I got out of there pretty easily. So there's a couple ways to open the trunk on this vehicle. The first way is with the key fob. Second way is with the button. And the third way is to come under the G in Grand Wagoneer. Push it, it'll beep at you. It'll do a little light show, it's pretty cool and it will open up for you. Tons and tons of storage, underfloor storage as well. Grocery bag hanger hooks, 12 volt outlet. I think this has decent, I think it has a little bit more storage than the um, Escalade, the Suburban and the Lincoln. Something cool, second row seats fold down only, which are already folded, oh, one of them is already folded down. Third row is power down and power up. So we'll push those down. Because this has that center console armrest, unfortunately, this isn't a complete load flat floor. If you option this for the bench seating, so uh, technically bench seating, it's three individual seats. You can actually have it be a completely load flat floor where you'll have essentially like a 10 foot long bed versus an eight foot bed truck. So easily transport drywall or plywood in this vehicle, although I don't know why you would, none of my business I guess, but you push these buttons again, they'll all come back up. And then once you're done doing your business in the back, you can come over to the driver's side, push the button, again it'll beep and it'll light up at you, and then it will automatically come down. Let's take a quick look at that window sticker. So here's the window sticker for this vehicle, again it's a 2023 Grand Wagoneer L Series 3. Bunch of standard equipment. I was right, it does have the Hurricane Twin Turbo 510 horsepower engine. 
best in class towing capability of 94.5, premium American design, most available technology, which I definitely believe, and then over 120 standard and available safety features, and then a spacious and functional design. They do not put the starting price on here, but if I was to bet, I would imagine it'd probably be somewhere around 110 to 114.9. So there you have it, absolutely beautiful 2023 Grand Wagoneer Series 3L with the Hurricane twin turbo engine. Uh, absolutely beautiful, beautiful SUV. I know I've said it a lot on this channel with all the walkthroughs I've done, but I think this thing definitely beats out the Cadillac competition, the Lincoln competition, the GMC competition. This thing is absolutely amazing. Even with the lower end trim levels for the Grand Wagoneer, it's still right up there competitively with the competition from Cadillac and Lincoln. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. If you wanna keep up to date with more auto show content, please consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.